Hey, today is March 24th, 2020, and we are on lesson 11.5. We're going to continue talking about strategies to, to subtract tens from two-digit numbers. And today's target is I can use mental math to subtract 10 from a two-digit number. And you notice the words I have underlined here are mental math. We talked about mental math in our previous topic, in our addition topic. And mental math is where that we do it in our heads. We don't need any paper. We don't need any pencil. All we need to know is how to count by tens. So we're going to practice that as we go through this lesson today. So let's take a look at some of the strategies we've already talked about. The first strategy that we talked about were base 10 blocks. And here we have a straight line to represent the tens, a dot to represent the ones. And when you're subtracting, you take away so the number gets smaller. And we also talked about using a hundred chart. Now and remember when we use a hundred chart, which direction do we travel, up or down? That's right, we travel up because the numbers get smaller as we go up. And when we go up the column, we're counting by tens. That's right, we're counting by tens. So on a hundred chart, when you subtract, you start with the whole, which is the biggest number. And then you go up that many tens and what you land on is the difference. That's right. Now, the next strategy that we did was an open number line. Now, in an open number line, we talked about using those two different ways. We talked about counting backwards on an open number line because when you subtract, you go backwards on the number line. So you start on the right-hand side and jump back when we're counting by tens. And then we talked about yesterday using addition to help us solve subtraction. Now let's take a look at what we worked on yesterday just to refresh our memories. Whoa, there's the hot mess of paper we had there. So remember here, we took 70, take away 30, and we used our subtraction open number line method to find the difference. And down here, we used the part that we knew was the first number, and then the whole, we knew that, so we put it over here as our sum, so we were looking for the other part, so we knew where to start, we knew where to stop, but we need to figure out how many jumps it took to get there, and we knew that it was going to be jumps because the part had a zero in the ones place, the whole had a zero in the ones place, so that means we were going to be counting by tens. So we were going to be jumping. So we started with 30, and we knew we were going to stop at 70. So we had 30, and then we counted up by tens, because remember, this is an addition equation. So we did 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and that was 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, and 4 tens is 40. That's right. So this is what we did yesterday. So that was one of the strategies we talked about. So all of those strategies you can use, you won't use them all at the same time, but use the one that works best for you. So we have one, two, three, four strategies, and today is strategy number five. It is mental math. So when you have mental math, like I said earlier, you don't need a paper, you don't need a pencil, you don't even need these guys. All you need is to know how to count by tens in your head. Now let's think back to when we did that with addition. And when we did that with addition and say we had the equation um, 22 plus 10. 22 plus 10. And we knew that when we're talking about tens, we're talking about what family comes next. So we look at our tens place here. What family is that? That's the 20s family. That's right. These are in the 20s family. So if I look here, I'm only increasing by 110. So what family comes after the 20s? The 30s. That's right. So instead of 22, it's going to be 32. Very good. And you notice that here is the 10s place was a 2, and now it's a 3. 2 plus what gives you 3? 2 plus 1, that's right, because we added 110. So the um, tens digit increased by 1, and then what did the ones digit do? It stayed the same. 
So when you were adding, your tens digit would increase by one when you add tens and your ones digit stays the same. Well, since subtraction is the opposite of addition, instead of increasing or going up by one number, you are actually going to decrease the tens place. And decrease means to get smaller because when you subtract, the number gets smaller. So let's take a look at some examples of how you would do that. Here is a nice clean piece of paper. Now remember, if it helps and you need to, you can write your tens just so that you know the families because we're not just going to be working with numbers that end in zero today. We may be working with numbers that end in nine, end in seven, end in six, end in four, end in two. You can't spread it. So we're going to talk about the families that come before another family because we're subtracting. So I'm going to write those out real quickly here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and I'm going to draw an arrow just as a visual reminder for me that we're traveling this way, okay? So we're traveling here. Hope you guys can see my arrow. Yes, you can. So we're traveling this way, so we're going to be counting backwards. So these are families, okay? So let's take a look at an equation, and let's do kind of like we did the addition equation of 22 plus 10. Let's do 22 take away 10. Now, the first thing we need to do when we're looking at this whole is we need to look at both place values. What number is in the tens place? That's right, it's a two. And what number's in the ones place? That's right, it's a two. So, we know when we were adding that the tens digit stayed, that the tens digit changed and the ones digit stayed the same. Well, when we're subtracting and you are adding a multiple of 10, when you're adding a number that ends in zero, that one's digit's going to stay the same. So I know I'm going to have two digits and that my two is going to be in the one's place. So let's take a look at the tens place. So I have a two here and I'm taking away one 10. So if I think two, I know that two take away one is one. So my two is in the ones place. So it is 12. So 22 take away 10 is 12. I could also think, uh, what comes before my 20s? Yeah, there's my 20s. And then I'm going to hop back one. And that is my tens or my teens as we call them. So here we would have the one, one in the tens place, and then this would be my ones place. That was a tricky example. So let's try a different one. Let's do 78 take away 10. 78 take away 10. Now the first thing we need to do is look at the whole. It's two digits. What number is in our tens place? That's right, it's the seven. And so that means what number is in our ones place? It's the eight. Now remember, when you are adding or subtracting a multiple of 10 and it ends in zero and it has a zero in the ones place, this ones place is going to stay the same because you're not changing anything with it. You're not adding anything to it. You're not taking anything away. So it's gonna stay the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eight here because I know that my difference the answer to my subtraction equation is going to have an eight in the ones place because my whole has an eight in the ones place. Now, let's look at the tens place. What family are we working with here in this number? That's right, it's the 70s, the 70s family. So that means we're going to take away one 10 from that 70s family. So let's look up here at 70s. And then what family comes before the 70s? 
the 60. So instead of 78, it would be, that's right, 68. Because 7 take away 1 equals 6. That's right. And our 1's place stayed the same. Very good. Give yourself a round of applause for that one. Very nice. Very nice. You guys did a great job with that one. That was a little bit easier than our first example. Let's try one more just to make sure you've got it and you can do it on your own because your mental wheels are working right now so you guys are doing a great job let's try i'm going to try to trick you because mm, i keep trying even though we're not at school i can still try to trick you let's do mm, let's do a big number let's do 97 take away 10. oh man i bet i've got you on this one so the first thing i need to do is take a look at my Place values. That's right. So I have a nine and a seven. So which number is in my ones place? Which number is in my ones place? Oh, you got it. It's a seven. So I know that seven take away nothing over here in this ones place it is seven. So my difference is going to have a seven in the ones place. So let's take a look at our tens place. What family are we dealing with here? That's right, it's the big 90s family, so let's find 90 here. And we are taking away 110, so that means I'm going to hop back one family. And we are now in the 80s family, so instead of 97, it's going to be 87, because 9 take away 1 equals 8. Very good, very good. I didn't trick you guys at all. You're still super, super smart, even when you're not at school. So when you are working with subtracting mentally, I want you to be practicing counting by tens. Now, we always go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. So that's the same thing when you're counting by tens, except you have a zero at the end. So instead of 10, you could go 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, blast off! So there you can practice counting backwards so you don't have to write these out, okay? So that way you can do it mentally when you're subtracting multiples of 10 from a two-digit number. So good luck, and we'll talk more about strategies on our next lesson.